Are there any non-Muslims who were born in a non-Muslim family? Are there any non-Muslims who were born in a Muslim family and now consider them to be non-Muslims? I come from a non-Muslim family. But now you are a Muslim, correct? No. Not a Muslim, okay. Yes. Ask a question. Yes, sister. Most welcome. <laughs> sister, if I understood, please check. You say you are a non-Muslim and yet born in a non-Muslim family, yet a non-Muslim, correct? Yes. So, the volunteers, please check that out, please. And then you can ask the question. Uh, perkenalkan nama saya Cynthia Paira. Saya berasal dari keluarga non Muslim dan Muslim. Ayah ibu ayah saya adalah seorang Muslim yang taat dan ibu saya juga uh, dan ibu saya juga merupakan non Muslim dari keluarga yang taat. Saya berasal dari Poso Sulawesi Tengah, daerah yang terkenal dengan konflik kerusuhan dan teroris. Jadi ada kesenjangan antara perbedaan agama di sana. Oke, okay, so, dan sebelumnya saya agak sedikit nervous karena suatu kehormatan saya bisa bertemu sama e, Dokter Sakir Naik yang selama ini saya tunggu-tunggu untuk menjawab semua keraguan saya karena sampai saat ini saya belum bersyahadat karena ada beberapa pertanyaan yang saya ingin ajukan tetapi saya hanya akan memberikan pertanyaan yang menurut saya begitu penting. Oke, okay, jadi pertanyaan saya Bagaimana pendapat Bapak tentang uh, tentang ketritunggalan Allah, ketritunggalan Yesus? Jadi saya dari kecil sebelumnya saya belajar agama Kristen karena saya oma saya Kristen, saya hidup di lingkungan yang non Muslim. Terus tapi abis saya adalah seorang Muslim dan saya juga belajar Islam. Oke, jadi pertanyaan saya. Uh, Menurut Bapak bagaimana tentang ketritunggalan? Yang saya dengar di sini kebanyakan di Indonesia mengatakan bahwa Yesus itu orang Kristen itu menyembah Yesus yang dianggap sebagai mereka itu menuhankan Yesus. Tapi bagaimana kalau menurut pendapat saya bahwa orang yang saya pelajari orang Kristen itu menyembah kepada Allah dan percaya akan kepada Allah. Tetapi Yesus itu hanya sebagai Teladan, karena seperti dalam pengakuan iman rasuli, aku percaya kepada Allah, Bapa yang Maha Kuasa, Kalik Langit dan Bumi. Berarti orang Kristen memang menganggap bahwa dia percaya pada satu Allah. Tetapi Tuhan Yesus itu adalah sebuah teladannya yang dijadikan teladan. Karena setiap orang Kristen berdoa itu selalu diakhiri dengan doa. Ku bawa doa ini dalam nama Bapa. Sister, we are not here to hear a speech. In question answer time, your question should be two or three sentences. If it's more than two or three sentences, it becomes a speech. You have already spoken about 20 sentences. You said you're born in a non-Muslim family. Then you said you're a non-Muslim. I can see in the camera wearing hijab. Then you're asking a question. Don't give a speech. Two, the person typing also cannot translate. Ask your question in two or three sentences. Don't give a speech. Two or three sentences. If it's more than two or three sentences, it's a lecture. Please translate that to her. If you can translate that to her, the coordinator. Please translate what I said. Ask the question in two or three sentences. If it's more than that, it's a speech. Speech time is over. Uh, the first, the first, okay. uh, the first question is. Brother. I translate to her in Indonesian. Okay. I think you are understanding me. Translate to her, ask the question in two or three sentences. One question. Not more than that. Uh, yeah. Brother, the public has understood. You have not understood. I'm talking to you, brother, the coordinator. Brother, here. Yeah, look at me. Brother, uh, tell her, 
She yeah, should yeah. ask the question let, let, in let, two or three sentences. That's it. Yeah, let me inform them. Uh, maaf, bagi para penanya, ya, uh, silakan bertanya keep keep and short, ya, seperti yang telah diumumkan tadi. Dua atau tiga kalimat saja. Kami silakan. Jangan panjang-panjang, karena beliau mengatakan kalau panjang itu nanti juga uh, pidato, ya, atau speech, ya. Kami persilakan. Dua atau tiga kalimat pendek. Oke, jadi jadi pertanyaan saya uh, di, di mana di Bible itu ayat berapakah yang dikatakan bahwa akan datang seorang nabi yaitu Nabi Muhammad dan di mana dikatakan di dalam Bible bahwa Nabi Muhammad mendapat wahyu. Jika ada saya ingin tanyakan ber, Bible ayat berapa? ayat yang mendukung pernyataan adanya Nabi Muhammad. Terima kasih. Let me translate in English. Uh, where could you find in the Bible that uh, there gonna be a messenger called Muhammad? And where could we find in the Bible that that Muhammad will be given a revelation? <coughs> Sister was giving a short speech and what I could grab from the translation she asked about Trinity and then she jumped to the second question. So inshallah I will, what I could understand from the translator was in, who had difficulty in translating. She's asking about Trinity and she's asking where does the Bible say that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam is mentioned as the messenger and that will get the revelation. Regarding the second question I answer first and I mentioned that earlier maybe she didn't understand English I've told in my earlier answer that there are many prophecies of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam which is mentioned in the Bible. If I speak for a few hours also I cannot complete. I'll just give the references of the major one. He is prophesied in the Old Testament in the book of Deuteronomy chapter number 18 verse number 18 in the, in the book of Deuteronomy chapter number 18 verse number 19. He is also prophesied in the Old Testament, in the book of Isaiah, chapter 29, verse number 12, he is mentioned by name in the Song of Solomon, chapter number 5, verse number 16. He is also prophesied in the New Testament, in the Gospel of John, chapter number 14, verse number 16, in the Gospel of John, chapter number 15, verse number 26, in the Gospel of John, chapter number 16, verse number 7, as well as Gospel of John, chapter number 16, verse number 12 to 14, where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, says, I have many things to say unto you, but he cannot bear them now. For even the spirit of truth shall come, he shall guide you unto all truth. He shall not speak of himself, all that year shall he speak. He shall glorify me. This year in Gospel of John chapter 16 verse 12 to 14, Jesus Christ peace be upon him saying, I have many things to say unto you. That means Jesus Christ peace be upon him wanted to say many things. But he knew that they could not understand. So he, when the spirit of truth shall come, he shall guide you unto all truth, talking about Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He shall not speak of himself, all that dear shall he speak. That means all what revelation he gets, he will speak. He shall glorify me. And we know Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam glorified Isa Alaihi Salaam. And this is clearly mentioned for full detail. Refer to my video cassette, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the Bible. Coming to your first question, you said that what is my view regarding Trinity, which I understood from the translation on the screen. The word Trinity, sister, does not exist anywhere in the Bible. You read the full Bible, the word Trinity does not exist. But if you read the Quran, the word Trinity is mentioned in the Quran. The Quran says in Surah Nisa, chapter 4, verse number 171, Do not say Trinity. This says, stop it, better for you. For Allah is one Allah. So Quran says, do not say Trinity. And the message is repeated in Surah Maida, chapter number 5. That, Lakat kafr lazina kalu. They are doing kuf, those who say, Lakat kafr inna salu salasa. They are doing kuf, those who say Trinity, those who say God is three in one. So Quran says in two different places. Surah Nisa chapter 4 verse 171 and Surah Maida chapter number 5 verse number 82 that do not say Trinity. Anyone who says they are doing kufr. 
So saying Trinity is prohibited. The word Trinity is in the Quran. It says do not say it. What does the Bible say? The word Trinity does not exist anywhere in the Bible. The verse which is closest to the description of Trinity is the first epistle of John, chapter number 5, verse number 7, where it says, For there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. And these three are one. This statement that there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Son, and the Word, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one, this is the closest to the explanation of the Trinity. But if you read the scholars of Christianity, they say, if you read the revised standard edition of the Bible, revised by Thaidu scholars of the highest eminence, backed by 50 different corporate denominations, they say that this verse, first epistle of John, chapter number 5, verse number 7, is an interpolation, is a fabrication, is a concoction, and they have thrown this verse out of the Bible. So this verse of the Bible, which is closest to Trinity, has been thrown out from the Bible as interpolation. So this concept of Trinity is no way mentioned in the Bible. It is a teaching of the church. It is the teaching of the church, not of the Bible. So that's the reason the Quran is right in saying that do not say Trinity, Discuss, stop it, it's better for you. Hope that answers the question, sister. I believe the sister who asked the question earlier, the sister who asked the question earlier, I could understand from the translation that her father is a Muslim mm -hmm. and her mother is a Christian, correct? Yes. Yes? Yes. Sister, what are you? Kalau status KTP saya adalah Kristen, tapi pada saat ini saya lagi sementara belajar. Tapi saya saya menggunakan hijab, mungkin anda lihat, karena saya benar-benar menjaga kehormatan saya sebagai wanita. Dan saya semakin ingin tahu benar-benar dengan Islam itu. Hanya saja saya belum mengucapkan syahadat, karena saya tahu ketika saya mengucapkan syahadat berarti tanggung jawab saya besar terhadap agama saya. Uh, my ID card, uh, it is, it is uh, mentioned in ID card that I, I am a Christian, I'm a Christian, uh, and I decide not to declare shahadat, I, I decide not to declare, declare shahadat because uh, when I declare it, uh, I will have uh, to shoulder responsibility. Sister has said that her ID card says she is a Christian. She is wearing a hijab to protect herself, that he forgot to translate. And she doesn't want to declare shahada because then she will be responsible to follow Islam, correct? Yes. That's what I understood. Sister, I did not ask you what does your ID card say. I asked you a question, what are you? My ID card may say anything. Allah will not check the ID card. All the ID cards are not true. Because I feel and I think you are a Muslim. Sister, do you believe there is one God? Sister, do you believe there is one God? Saya rasa saya belum Muslim karena saya belum mengucapkan syahadat. Sister, you are giving I, yes or no? Percaya. That, uh, yes. You believe there is one God? Yes, I Very believe. good. Do you believe Jesus is God, peace be upon him, or do you believe he's messenger of God? Do you believe Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, is the messenger of God or is he God? Is yes, I Jesus, peace be upon him, is he a messenger of God yes. or is he God? Yes, What? I percaya, karena ada tertulis dalam Bible. Oh, <laughs> sebagai messenger. Messenger, mashallah. So you believe there is one God, you believe Jesus is the messenger of God. Do you believe Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of Allah? I gave you references. Do you believe Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of Allah? 
Do you believe Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God? Saya percaya adanya Muha Nabi Muhammad. Makanya itu pertanyaan saya. Maksudnya yang semua keraguan saya yang sampai saat ini yang sehingga saya ingin bertemu Bapak itu yang saya mau pertanyakan. Bagaimana sejarahnya tentang Nabi Muhammad? The person typing is typing Indonesian, type English. She speaking Indonesian. The person typing on the screen is typing Indonesian for whom? Can you type in English? Uh, she she want to prove uh, how can we believe that Rasulullah Muhammad is the messenger of God. That that's what I told you, sister. I gave you references from the Bible. You asked me where does the Bible say he is the messenger? I gave you references from the Bible, so many references and explanation of the last verse. Wasn't that convincing? Begini maksud saya. Yang saya, saya, yang saya pertanyakan di mana di Bibel itu yang buat saya ragu bahwa e, masih saya pertanyakan bahwa Nabi Muhammad itu adalah benar-benar utusan Allah. Jadi di mana ayat di dalam Bibel itu yang mengatakan Nabi Muhammad adalah sudah sudah Pak. Jadi sudah disebutkan tadi banyak hmm. ayat di Bible yang menyebutkan bahwa Muhammad itu adalah Rasulullah. Sehingga ketika Bapak I gave you so many references. Do you want to repeat it again? I gave so many references all over clapping. Sorry. You want me to repeat it? If I repeat it, will you believe he is the messenger? Okay. If I repeat the references, will you believe he is the messenger? She's, she's questioning where in Bible could I find that Muhammad is the messenger of uh, God. And I told her that you have mentioned some verses in Bible telling that actually the Muhammad is uh, the messenger of God. Ya, dan sekarang ketika Bapak karena udah menjawab itu tadi, sorry tadi saya maaf saya sedikit nervous, saya percaya ketika Anda memang benar-benar tadi membuktikan jawabannya ada di Bibel. Ya. Ya. Bilang apa? Percaya sekarang dia. Now she becomes belief. She believe that oh, uh, Muhammad the is the messenger of God. The translator didn't translate. Now the translation is telling, I believe that Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is mentioned in the Bible. So sister, now you believe that Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God? Yes. MashaAllah. So sister, that means you are a Muslim. To become a Muslim, you require minimum. What your ID card says, forget. Your ID card, we will change it. I will ask the University of Muhammad to change your ID card. That's easy. First changing your heart is important. Sister, do you believe there is one God? You said yes. Yes, I believe. If you believe there is one God and you believe Prophet Muhammad is the messenger, that means you are a Muslim. You are already wearing the hijab, mashallah. So you are already practicing part of Islam. Thank you. <coughs> Would you like to say it in Arabic? <laughs> Would you like to say it in Arabic? Inshallah. I'll say Arabic and repeat Inshallah. Sister, is anyone forcing you to accept Islam? Saya mau, tapi bukan di sini, tapi di depan orang tua saya itu aja. I'm willing to declare shahadat, but not here, but in front of my parents. You can do it again in front of your parents, no problem. Shahadat you can do every day. Once you say that means not that you cannot. I'll say it in Arabic and you can repeat it. Yes. Okay. Ashadu. Really? <laughs> I'll say it in Arabic and you can repeat it. Ashadu. Jika anda ingin mengucapkan syahadat, mohon diikuti. Diikuti. Pernyataan syahadat dalam bahasa Arab. Bersedia? Gimana Pak? Yes, I'm ready. Yes. Yes, brother. 
She she's Ashadu. willing to declare Ashadu. Sahara. Ashadu. Ashadu. Allah. Ashadu Allah. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illa Allah. Illa Allah. Wa ashadu. Wa ashadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammadan. Muhammadan. Abduhu. Abduhu. Wa rasuluhu. Wa rasuluhu. I bear witness. Can someone translate into Indonesian to her about the Shada? I bear witness. Aku bersaksi. Aku bersaksi. Tiada no Tuhan God. selain Allah. Dan aku bersaksi bahwa Nabi Muhammad adalah utusan Allah. Mashallah. Mashallah. She knows Shada better than you, brother. She knows the translation of better than the coordinator. Mashallah, Mabruk sister. And I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The moment you accept Islam, all your previous sins are forgiven. All your previous sins are forgiven. And I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give you hidayah to even convince your mother to come to the fold of Islam. And very soon the university will change your ID, inshallah. Inshallah to a Muslim, inshallah. And I pray that may you be able to spread the message of peace to the others. Can we have the next question, please?